Hey guys, it's uh, me David coming at you with another weekly update and this is weekly update number 23 and before we get on with the video I've got three awesome guys with me. First of all we got Michael MGF. Why don't you say hi? Yes. Uh, next we got Camden. Uh, hey, it's on and one Cam. Yep. And lastly we got my buddy Victor. Hello. Yes. I want to be a buddy. <laughs> you can't. Alright, so I muted them, and I also want to make a shout out to um, uh, Mr. Thomas O for helping me out with a couple things. He also gave me an MTT, which is also great, so thanks to him. Big shout out to him. Um, I also want to make a shout out to um, L um, actually uh, Lego Star Wars TV, and I'll get on later in the video why. But uh, first of all, I got some awesome Geonosian uh, Season 2 from the Star Wars The Clone Wars show, uh, Troopers, and uh, we got, uh, I want to say, that's Waxer and that's Boyle, and then we got Commander Jet and the Flamethrower Troopers from Landing at Point Rain, and I think they look perfect. Um, the orange does make it look a little different from the uh, dark red color, but it still works very well. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to totally review them, I just wanted to quickly show you. Uh, how good the quality is on these. So, it is very awesome. And there's also a decal under this. I don't know if you can really see that too well. And then, uh, yeah. And they also came with a gun. I just decided to not put it on here. And then, uh, this is, uh, Commander Jet. And I think he looks really good. Custom molded helmet. Very well done. Um, so yeah, and then lastly we got, uh, like I said, I'm not sure about their names. I know one's Waxer and one's Boyle, but I don't know who's who and who's what. So very nice, very nice. Alright, uh, so let's move on. I've got some... Special, let me move these guys out of the way. I've got a special visitor here. I think he all wants to say hi to you guys. It's 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 a hunter. He, he wants to say hi to you guys. He's a win. Anyways, this is why I wanted to give a shout out to Lego Star Wars TV. He made an amazing hunt, uh, <laughs> hunter. And um, I think he did a really great job on it. Looks very epical. And uh, from this viewing angle, you can get some cool angles. I also have two of them. You can get some pretty cool angles with the Hunter. And I think he looks great. Very, very unique design that went into it. So, very awesome. Uh, it was priced like 30 bucks, 35 something like that. Uh, I think it was well worth it for the detail. And it's a very nice structurally designed Hunter. It's not going to break or anything. Um, and like I said, I have two of these awesome guys. So, yes, big shout out to him. You can go visit his, or buy his Hunter, if it's not already sold out, at BrickTech, BrickTechStudios.com. And there'll be a link below, along with LegoBoyProductions.com. Alright, so, moving on, we also have, uh, oh, yes, these are the flame guns that the Geonosians came with. Um. But uh, yeah, we also, I also want to show you, I showed you this last time, the Geonosians. I've got five more that will be added to this, so that'll be awesome. Good good news, I guess. Yeah. And these are my Hunter version. You can tell that this is like nothing ver to that one over there. Over there. So yes. Alright. Um, oh, yeah, big, big thing. Um. You can tell I have I now have two computers. One is for stop motion animation and such and such. One's for website and my store, basically managing my store and such and such. All right. Oh, and I also want to quickly say that these figures were made by a guy on eBay called Friendlying. You can probably you've probably seen a lot of his customs. Like for example, uh, Captain Fordo right there was made by him as well. Um, also, I want to quickly show the two different versions of 
friendly at friendlings or whatever his name is versus minifig maker so that looks very nice as well I think I showed that in another update but I'm not quite sure anyways we're gonna go ahead and come down the hallway and I'm gonna show you a couple more things All right, so um, this is the closet, which is where I do a lot of my store items. And as you can see, I have, I actually bought like 11 of these for off eBay. for t Somebody was selling them for $10 each. And he had four of these and 11 of the droid battle pack. And uh, there's all the droid battle packs. And then I built the clone battle packs. So I got very lucky. You cannot find a deal like that every day. Um... But let me go ahead and, uh, other than that, uh, let me go ahead and show you some new store items that you can go right here, or right below. So right below is LegoBoardProductions.com along with BrickTech Studios. Um, these uh, World War II guys right here are now available, and they look completely sick and awesome. And guess what, guys? They're only eight dollars, eight dollars and fifty cents. Um, so that's a great deal. Honestly, for these uh, figures, the torso, which is an Indiana Jones torso, is com very has become very rare, and I was able to get my hands on quite a few. So build your army for World War II, guys, for a very cheap price. Because I know you guys have been demanding some cheap figures that look very high quality. And I also, if you may notice, um, let's see if I can get the focus. Yeah, right back there, that guy right there. Yeah, he, you may notice that his helmet is like much different, or way different. Uh, it's by a different company. It's a, it's a helmet that Brick Arms used to use, and it looks very, very nice. Er, uh -huh. why I want it? Fo wait. So yeah, it looks very nice, very shiny. And uh, it's brand new. Then I have my brick arm stuff over here. Yes, I know I have quite the collection. Um, some accessories. I'm still kind of organizing. And then also, guys, you can buy a red versus blue battle pack on LegoBoyProductions.com as well. So that's very awesome. Uh, just some future products right there. Like I said, this and that is available. If we move along over here, I want to show you that the Little Arm Shop DC-15, uh, or, no, <laughs> DC-15, Z6, um, mini guns are now in, and you can buy them on LegoBoyProductions.com for three twenty-five each. It's very awesome. Spins... Does all kinds of cool stuff. It's a very awesome minigun designed just for Clone Wars, and you can use it for other things as well. Also, I got the uh, this rifle, the DC-15 rifle, back in stock. As you can see, I got a lot of them. So I am back in business with Little Arm Shop weapons. So all that stuff can be right below in LegoBoyProductions.com. Don't forget, shipping's only a dollar seventy-five per item. So that's very cheap. Um, that's about it, guys. Oh, <laughs> actually, that's not about it. I also have some torsos you can buy on LegoBoyProductions.com as well to go along with your Americans. And they are German, and you can buy them. They're only like $5 each. And as you can see, I have a bun bunch of them as well. Um, also a lot of Star Wars boxes. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Quick little weekly update. What is this, number 23? So, a lot of unbuilt sets right there that I probably need to build. And, uh, that, that's about it. Oh, yes, uh, this is the MTT Mr. Tomso gave me. And as you can see, I have to build it. It's getting there. Er. Oh, look at this guy. He was down on the floor. Poor guy. Hmm, wonder if he's dead. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, thanks for watching the weekly update, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.